One of the more frustrating things about painting is when you take the time to do a thumbnail sketch and then your finished piece just doesn't have the same flavor to it. Some of that may be due to expectations and making a finished piece just a little more precious and less spontaneous. But there can be another factor which leads to an unsatisfying result. You might have neglected to use the same proportion in your final piece that you used to create the thumbnail, and this completely changes the relationships between the shapes. This might not seem like a big deal, but when your final piece is larger, all those relationships are magnified, mistakes and all. So what's the solution? Properly scaling up your sketch. There are different methods for doing this accurately. Okay, what are they? Number one, you can do all your thumbnails in sizes equivalent to your canvas sizes. Boring and not very spontaneous, but very good planning. Number two, you can do the math. Number three, scaling by bisecting. Number four, using a proportion scale or what's called a proportion wheel. I'm a pretty good planner, but when I'm out in the field, I get excited and I tend to just start recording my ideas without worrying about size, especially when I'm working in pastel and I'm not tied to a particular canvas size. I don't know about you, but I just don't want to do the math, especially when I'm out in the field enjoying a day of painting. The last thing that I really want to do is get my left brain in gear. So when I'm in the field, I use a simple, kind of down and dirty method that involves bisecting the image of the thumbnail and then using a right angle. I'm usually keeping my plein air work kind of on the small side, so this method with a piece of tracing paper and the edge of an extra canvas or even an extra piece of paper is all I need for this method. Okay, let me show you how. Okay, for this one, you just need your tracing paper and I'm gonna use this thumbnail sketch as an example and I'm gonna put the tracing paper kind of up here in the corner so I have this whole space and I'm just gonna really rough come along here and trace it. All right, that's all I need there. Okay, and let me put this up here, just so you can see. Tape this up here. This is just so you guys can see. Okay, now, the thing I need to do here is here I have my triangle and so you need something with uh, this right angle here and you can use a piece of paper. You can even use a, an extra piece of paper for this but the triangle works really well. Okay so the first thing that I need to do is get the right angle. So I'm going to come along on this edge here like so. And just so this is longer, I'll come along right here. Okay, and now here comes that bisecting. And I'm going to do that with red, just so you can see. So I'm going to come along this corner to this corner. Like so. And again, it's kind of down and dirty, and I can extend this out. All right, so anything on this line is going to be the right proportion, so let me show you that. So let's say I want my piece about, mm, about six inches, so I'll come here. And then I come here, and then I meet, meet up right there at that. Now this, this shape in here is the same proportion as the smaller one. Now I can do it, I can make that this larger or smaller. If I want to make it a little bit bigger, I can come along this line down here, see, at this point. I'm going to come here, 
And again, it's kind of down and dirty, not being 100%, but it's close enough. So now this one is the right proportion. Now if I want to make it smaller, I can do that. Right here, and come along. So it's a really good method. I don't need, all I need is a straight edge. I can use a piece of paper for this same operation, right? Um, and I can use the piece, an extra piece of paper or an extra side of my canvas um, to get the bisecting line. And it works out really well. So all of these sizes are the, are the exact same proportion. Okay, next method. Okay, now proportion wheel. I'm gonna be using this proportion wheel just a little bit different than is obvious. I'm not gonna be doing a percentage. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure my thumbnail sketch and then I'm gonna line up the width and the length on the inner and outer wheels. So for instance, I have this little thumbnail here and I've measured it's two by two and a half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to my, my wheel here. And so the, the width is up here on the outer wheel and I'm gonna put the length on the inner wheel. So two by two and a half. So any size along here that's lined up is gonna be the same proportion. So for instance, so say I want my final piece to be a, a length of nine inches. So then that's gonna be seven and, a, seven and a quarter width. Okay, let's do another one. Let's measure this guy. It's one and three quarters by three. So let's line up the width on the outside it's three, and I'm going to swing this over here to one and three quarters. And so let's say I want that, that width now to be, let's say I want it to be 15 inches. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm holding this tight. So 15 is just about eight and three quarters. So my new proportion is 15 by eight and three quarters. Okay, let's just do one more just so I know you have it. Okay, let's do this one. Let's say it's two and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay, so let's put my width on the outside again. Three and a quarter by two and a quarter. So here's three and a quarter right there by two and a quarter. Right there, I've got it. All right, so now let's say I wanna make this piece, let's say I wanna make it really big this time. Let's make sure I've got it tight, two and a quarter by three and a quarter. Let's say I wanna make it really big, so I'm gonna make a big painting, it's gonna be 25 by 17 and a half. So I've lined this up right here, 17 and a half by 25. So that's all there is to this. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. And I hope that helps a lot. And then you can really enjoy your painting process from thumbnail to completion. And be really assured that you're getting the shapes and the elements the same proportion. Okay.